Peace be with you. Welcome back to my channel for another video, another intuitive spiritual download. If this is the first time that you're coming across my channel, hey, come on in. Why are you here? What is it that you need? What do you need to know that you don't already know? Or maybe I'm being presumptuous. Maybe you just need something in addition to what it is that you already know that you know. Why? Because you are the high priestess. You absolutely do have great intuition. You got wonderful discernment. But maybe there's parts to the story that you just still need some questions and or some light shed on. So welcome to the platform. Whatever you're here for, I support you in the energy. Whatever you decide to do with the energy by way of picking up and applying it to your life and or putting down that which does not apply and you just want to let it fly. Maybe leave it for somebody else to take. Baby, listen, this is an easy peasy, nice and greasy first meeting. Like, share and subscribe if you like the intro. The intros can sometimes get a little lengthy, but they're all freestyle, okay? It's just... Sometimes that's just the way that the spirit flows. And so we don't like to block things that flow. Needless to say, all praise is due to the creator of all things to whom is absolutely second to none. We're so amazed at the creator by way of the workings of nature. We call upon divine protection. Anybody trying to attack my, my throat, my heart, my mind, my body, my soul. Let that shit fall down so fast that my enemy don't even know what hit them. Listen, that is a prayer, newcomer. Come on in. Congratulations. You just survived your first impromptu prayer of a commercial break. Again, what you decide to do with it, I absolutely do support you in the energy. But if you're returning back to the channel, then you are my beautiful, amazing, high vibrational aspiring, determined, focused, courageous, adventurous, incredible, outstanding, superstar quality soul tribe. There's so many other words that I could find to describe the emotions that I have for you and baby. I love you from here to Albuquerque and back and even beyond that I love you you're my beautiful soul tribe I love you so much you are a beautiful wonderful reflection of myself listen let's go ahead and get into these downloads we gotta sing the soul tribe song though the tambourine is going through a process it's being blessed by the ancestors it won't be available maybe on the next couple of videos for those of you that just came for the tambourine to see a tambourine. Okay, listen. It will be tambourining on future videos, just not this time. <laughs> Somebody clicked off the video like, oh, hell no. I came for the damn tambourine. You mean a tambourine? She ain't bring the tambourine? Get your tambourine, no. Get your tambourine, no. Tambourine, no. Listen, I love you. Stay focused, soul tribe. Come on in here to spiritual court. What is spiritual court, newcomers? You're like, what? Spiritual court? I thought this was a regular tarot card reading. Nothing's regular, regular over here. You know, we just kind of go with the way the universe is going by way of flow, baby. Spiritual court. It is a place where cases are long overdue, baby. By the time your case gets to spiritual court by way of my calling, my birthright, walking, breathing karma, okay, is how we see spiritual court. It's long overdue. It's done. Stick a fork in it. That means that somebody had chance after chance after chance after chance. And they just kept going and going and flowing and crying and doing the wrong thing. And you say, you know what? I call bullshit. <laughs> and in addition to that, I call judgment. Righteous judgment on all timelines, realms, and or dimensions. And so it is so. Why? Because we can. And so we will. And so we shall. And so it is. Molding it to be. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. Where did this beat come from? Mm, 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 mm. Mm? Where did that come from? Mm, 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 mm. Is that the Soul Tribe beat? I've never had a beat. It's always been acapella. Listen, some things are just changing and sometimes I'm being honest with y'all. This is really who I am and I thank you for letting me be myself <laughs> again. Listen. So try. Okay, just kidding. I'm just warming up. <clears throat> me, 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 me. 
and you, 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 and I, 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 I is not easy. Hitting I from your diaphragm to said throat chakra, passing the decolletage is not an easy note. You got to have win. You know, I got to work on my abs. It's, it's a lot. <laughs> You know, when I do that, I'm ready for the note. Listen. So try. So try. I love you so much. My beautiful soul. Try. Love and lie. Ooh. My beautiful soul tribe, thrive, thrive, thrive. The cat just tried to jump on top of my lap. Soul tribe, oh no, you can't get up here, baby. Soul tribe, listen, soul tribe. Okay, that was a good one. I felt that in my soul. Okay, if nobody else enjoyed that, I support you in the energy. I absolutely thoroughly enjoyed myself. Again, singing, dancing, tambourining, uh, waiting on the small miniature acoustic guitar. All of that is a part of the platform that is a part of my spiritual contract. When I was in the spirit realm sitting with the Most High and the Most High says, listen, I need somebody to go down and do A, B, C, X, Y, Z. I raised my hand. I said, okay, I'll go. I said, what I got to do? What I got to do? The Most High is like, well, you got to go show love. You got to call judgment. Okay, you're going to be born into a karmic ass family. It's a lot that's going to happen. I'm like, okay, damn. Okay, just send me. I was already an ascended master. I descended because shit was out of, out of whack. I'm like, look at these fools down there. I was done with my lifetime. So I said, okay, you know, anything for you, most high, I'll go. I said, but in the fine print of said contract, as I'm negotiating with the creator of all things, I said, could you put a lot of shits and giggles on my path? Because I know it's about to be some bullshit with a whole bunch of people trying to stop me. Okay. Can you also put in their commercial breaks? Because sometimes that life that you sending me to go life with, it's always lifing. So just so you know, if you catch me going off script, there is no script. <laughs> That's in my contract. Don't like it? Talk to my ABBA. Maybe you'll click off the video. Maybe you'll stick around. Maybe you've learned how to have patience. Somebody's like, flip the cards. You go flip the cards. <laughs> Before I flip your card. Come on in here, y'all. <laughs> Holy Spirit, Divine Angels. Come on in here, Archangel Michael. How you doing? Listen, Archangel Michael whoops ass for us. Shout out to Archangel Michael. Like for real. Shout out to the angels. They just snatching up bullshit that's unnecessary on your path. Okay, listen. Somebody put a phone call in to somebody else and they trying to... Oh, hold on. Somebody's knocking at the door, y'all. Hold on. It's never a dull moment here in spiritual court. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Somebody's always bearing gifts. I appreciate that. Listen, y'all. So back to spiritual court. So somebody called somebody. Whoever the somebody's is, nine times out of ten, it's a hundred percent chance it's another karma because they're getting towers. Somebody called somebody, y'all. I was meditating in the kitchen, right? Eating the last of that salsa. Damn, that salsa was good. I'm making some more of that damn salsa. That salsa was so damn good. I'm like, oh, girl, first time making it. Got me a little food processor. I said, look at you. Go ahead, Neff. Okay, listen, I am my number one cheerleader. So listen, as I'm cheering myself on eating said salsa, my ears started to ring. I'm like, yes, this is what I do when the angels call. I'm like, oh, I'm on an assignment. This is Neff. 
The angels are like, yes, yeah, a conversation going on. Somebody talking about somebody, the hexing ain't hexing. And somebody's actually calling somebody like, yo, excuse me. Hey, how you doing? Okay, you remember what we did? Yeah, yeah, we remember. Okay, graveyard, all that. Somebody's like, when is when is the hex going to hit? <laughs> Somebody is like, when is that black magic going to kick in? Lord, have mercy. Baby. You got the blind leading the blind and the deaf leading the deaf. The deaf leading the blind and the blind can't hear what the deaf saying and the deaf can't see what these crazy people are doing. Listen, it's a whole bunch of mess going on with a whole bunch of confusion. Holy Spirit. Somebody said, when is that curse going to kick in? Because somebody's watching you obsessively and you just keep coming up. Divine Collective, I'm so proud of us, okay? All shits and giggles aside, well, I'm kidding. I can't put shits and giggles aside. It's impossible. It's a part of my contract. But listen, we are transmuting the shit out of this hex and cursing new moon energy. We're like, oh, it's a new moon. Oh, okay. It's another opportunity to go through another ascension. The blessings are coming in so big. Somebody's watching. Okay, and somebody's actually calling the practitioner or calling the group or whatever this is, people in the coven or whatever the connection is. And they're like, yo, when is that curse going to kick in? Okay, well, Holy Spirit, divine angels, I thank you for truth and clarity. Please show us what it is that we need to see in regards to this. The hex ain't hexing and the curse ain't cursing. Yeah, look. Page of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Hmm, Capricorn, also known as Hashatan by way of tarot. Shout out to all the high vibrational Capricorns. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, you keep getting money. Somebody tried to hex your money. You keep getting good news about money. Big, small, little increments of money. 10 cents, 25 cents, 25,000, 50 dollars, 5 dollars. Money is just flowing in quite easily, right? Effortlessly. Clarify the Page of Pentacles. Somebody like, when is that money spell going to kick in? I thought you said... <laughs> Nine of Wands, you're protected. Somebody's trying to figure out how you're protecting your money. What are you doing? Okay, so they could be sending monitoring spirits. Clarify, rectify, solidify. Yeah, listen, somebody's trying to figure out how the hell. Now, this wanted to come up in the reverse, but you're protected from this bad karma. Somebody's getting bad karma. Somebody did some type of money spell so that they could tap into your fortune. And they're waiting for good news about money. It's almost like they wanted to hex you, block you, steal your uh, whatever this is, energy harvesting, I guess it is, right? In order to manifest something for their own house by way of fortune. And somebody's trying to figure out because that will of fortune wanted to come in. Yeah, upside down. Somebody needed a wish fulfilled, okay? Somebody could be trying to get your energy because they need money to pay the light bill, gas bill, buy some bread, crackers, crumbs, whatever it is. Somebody absolutely is a repetitive, serial, spiritual, you know, uh, thief, okay? They steal, kill, destroy. They don't want to take responsibility for having to go within. Somebody is never the problem. Whoever these people are, Collective, I'm going to be honest, it's a whole bunch of eyes on you. Somebody's sending out death. You're over here manifesting prosperity, business. Uh, you could be getting your house in order. Some of you are preparing to move. Some of you are just moving in silence. And somebody is like projecting a lot of hate, a lot of whatever, a lot of con whatever that, you know, the same old stuff. Again, I always say these people are not that creative. They really don't think of new things, right? And they wonder why the shit backfires because they're predictable, right? So somebody's like, yo, when is this little money spell going to kick in, okay? The wheel of fortune in the reverse is how it wanted to come up. Somebody wanted your fortune to go away, yeah. And you're just as happy as, you know, as can be. You're just moving around and, and, and you know, things are coming in and as quick as two shakes of a lamb's tail. How fast can a lamb's tail shake? I don't know. It's got to be pretty fast because you got the ten of cups. Good news about money. Nine of wands. You could be uh, protecting your energy. Rightfully so. Yeah. Somebody's doing cleansings. Okay. Somebody's out here hexing and cursing. Talking about when is the hex going to kick in? And you're looking in the mirror like twin. Where have you been? Nobody knows me like you do. Nobody gon' love me quite like you. You were made for me. 
Listen, body to body, skin to skin. Listen, I'm never gonna love like this again. You were made for me. This is you in the mirror. You sing it to yourself. Twin, and they out here. <laughs> when is the hex gonna kick in? Listen, don't nobody know. Nobody knows. <laughs> But God sees all. I just heard it. Somebody is pissed off. Page of Cups, Piscean Energy. Why is that Page of Cups there with that sad ass little fish? Somebody's trying to come in with a fake ass offer. Somebody just wants a little, just a little strand of your will of fortune. Okay, just a little tiny bit. They just, if I could just get, if I could just get the hem of her garment, the hem of her joy, just a little touch of it, I could manifest. Somebody's like dreaming about what they could manifest when they really should be thinking more about how the hell they're gonna turn their life from being upside down. Page of Cups, Piscean Energy. Somebody's coming in with a fake ass offer. Clarify this Page of Cups. Something significant about, yeah, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Whoever they're, <laughs> ah! whoever this person is reaching out to about the curse, about the ex, about the money, they're getting bad news. Bad news. What is the bad news? The hex ain't hexing and the curse ain't cursing. Clarify, somebody's just full of jealousy. Yeah, death spell. Somebody tried to do a death spell and you transform, you transmuted it and you transform and somebody really got you to another level. You know, I always say when your enemy comes to attack you, it really is an opportunity for you just to reinvent yourself and go to the next level. It's a blessing. I honestly look forward to the death spells now. I don't know if there's anybody even doing any death spells on me anymore, but you know, it, it's like, I don't know. You know, it's a blessing. It gives you an opportunity, one, to get more powerful, uh, to learn more about yourself. Remember, the enemy only works with your weaknesses or your faults. But now that we are, you know, mastering self, there really is nothing that can stop you, block you, unless you give your energy over to some karmic ass energy, which I don't think is a wise thing. I can't see us doing that. And so we're not. And so they're blocked. And so they're rebuked by the universe. It's in that order, like literally, figuratively, and on purpose, deliberately, compulsively. Somebody's like, when that death spell gonna kick in? Page of Wands and the Reverse getting bad news. Page of Cups. Ooh, clarify. What is this? Heavy on the Piscean energy. You could be a Pisces. They could be a Pisces. Or somebody is, mm -mm. somebody's stuck. Somebody's stuck, okay? Their ideas are stuck. They're stuck in life. They don't know which way to go. Bad news about death. Page of Wands in the reverse is bad news. Death. Ooh. Clarify. Show me what I need to see. Angels. What does that mean? What is it that they got going on? Yeah, somebody did Somebody did a death spell on you. Moon magic. Cancer and energy. Could have been a Pisces, y'all. Shout out to my high vibrational Pisces. Listen, commercial break. Pisces. Pisces. Gang, gang, gang. Listen, you got a lame, lame, lame. You got a lame ass Pisces out here. This person don't even deserve to be a Pisces. Somebody could have a whole bunch of water in their chart. We got death, scorpionic energy, the moon, cancer and energy. Somebody absolutely is a water sign. Sad ass page of cups. Somebody feels small compared to you. Somebody feels intimidated by you. Page energy. Okay. Meanwhile, you're in the ten of cups protecting your energy. Page of Pentacles getting good news about money and the Wheel of Fortune. When somebody wanted this Wheel of Fortune to be theirs or they wanted it to stop or be in the reverse. Yeah, what the hell? Okay, keep playing up under that moon. Keep on. You're going to see what's going to happen. Some shit like this going to fall on your ass. Okay, that's what you want. Look at her. Look at that witch. Look at these legs under here. <laughs> you out here playing hopscotch with death. 
Okay, double dutch with death, dodgeball, kickball with demons and goons and goblins. And you wondering why somebody could be trying to cleanse, sage. Uh, yeah. What are you trying to cleanse and sage? The death spells that you did that's not falling on the divine beings? Okay, oh, you know, I always have to put in my two cents, four cents, 25 cents. Today, I'm putting in a whole bunch. I'm going to put in $2, okay? Because I know that the universe is, yeah, five of pentacles. What, a silent competition. Who is this? They wanted you in an imbalance. They were, listen, mm-mm-mm. You out here working with death for free? You didn't even get paid to take yourself out? You didn't get paid to take yourself out? Because that's what's happening. Who is this person that they're contacting? Asking, when is the, the magic going to kick in? Nine of Cups, water sign. Yeah, somebody's like, when is it going to kick in? Somebody made a wish. Somebody wished, and they're waiting, and they're wanting, and they're going to keep on wishing, waiting, and wanting. Source is saying to shit in one hand and... And do nothing in the other and see which one gets filled the fastest. <laughs> Who is the person? Show me the bad news. What are they telling them? Somebody's reassuring them. Give it a, give it a minute. It's going to kick in. It's going to kick in. This is what they're telling them. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody is leading you to the slaughter. Page of Wands, Death and the Moon. And, and the Page of Cups. This is a fake ass friendship too. Page of Cups. Look, there's a fish in that cup. Somebody's not genuine. You see that little fish? Even the fish knows that this is not a real offer. It's jumping out of said cup. Listen, what are you doing? Somebody's trying to give you, you know, regular tuna fish when you only eat albacore. Oh, that's me. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That's me, but I'm not sorry. But listen, somebody's telling them, look, it's going to kick in. Don't worry about it. Uh-huh. Don't worry about it. It's going to, it's going to work. Okay. Yeah. Somebody's like, but I need money. I got to move. I need rent. I need, whoa. So you are banking on somebody else's energy to manifest that? You got to be dumb as a bag of bricks. Hell no. Somebody's stubborn. Clarify, who is this person that they're working with asking? Could be a water sign doing it. Could be a Gemini. Could be a Scorpio. Yeah, listen. Listen. Somebody paid for you to be blocked. Your fortune, your money, same old bullshit. Y'all know the story. Listen, the, the shit ain't working. The hex ain't hexing and the curse ain't cursing. The only person that's cursed is this person and it's only a matter of time. The hangman, somebody is absolutely a water sign. There's a lot of water here. The nine of cups is even water sign. Piscean energy. The fool could be a Gemini involved, okay? Six of pentacles, somebody paid somebody. Sure did. They should have saved that money. Somebody was really, really banking on the fact that they would get your fortune. They figured, okay, I'll just give you my last. This is what it is. No problem. And now they're on the phone, baby. They're texting. They're calling. They're screenshotting. They're like, whoa, listen, this person is still alive. They still look like they're doing good. They still like, yeah, what did you think? Somebody plays around, you know, with the divine beings. They think that it's a joke. You're going to joke your ass right up under this house that fell on top of your ass playing with death. I just heard the Grim Reaper. Somebody's being haunted. Nine of Swords. They want to trust this practitioner, but this practitioner is leading them down. Uh, I just heard Death Valley. Something could be significant about the desert. I just heard Las Vegas, maybe. Somebody could be thinking to go there, move there, just came back from there. Whatever this is, somebody's ass is, is not doing too good. Six of Pentacles, somebody's saying, what happened? I paid you. Why is it not kicking in? It's almost, you know, the fourth day, fifth day of the full moon. I mean, or new moon. They're waiting for the full moon. And somebody's like, don't worry about it. Just, you know, the fool. They're planning for a fool. Telling them to keep the faith based on what they're wanting and wishing. Yeah, it's a wrap. Somebody is like, somebody's willing to go anywhere to take you out. Child, they don't knock it the hell off. Somebody's willing to do anything to take you out. I cannot make it up. Did I not just say they're willing to go anywhere? Two of Wands. That's crazy. You better save that money. Because you about to be in the Five of Pentacles. Look. 
and somebody's getting sick. Why do people keep doing stuff like this when they know they're going to die? The sickness spell backfired. The death spell backfired. The trying to, you know, reverse your fortune. Somebody wants to stop your destiny, your contract with the divine. Like you got to be crazy. Show me the hex ain't hexing and the curse ain't cursing. Somebody's like, hey, yo, I know it's been a couple of weeks. When do you think that magic gonna kick in? I gotta buy dog food, cat food. Yeah, four wands and you just over here thriving. Okay, twin flame energy. You could be going into a new union or you're manifesting this for a wand. Somebody could be moving into a new house. Ten of cups and the four of wands. It's like somebody is just happy in glee. You know, you're very gay. You know, yeah, you're happy. You're in glee. Do people still use the word glee? You know, you're very optimistic. You're, you know, you are, you're, you're, you're doing your thing collective. Okay. Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups. Somebody wanted your wishes to be their wishes and now the shit ain't, you know, wishing and they want, wanting and waiting. <laughs> wishing, waiting, wanting and being rebuked and blocked. Okay, and whatnot. Karma's spinning the block. Show me what I need to see. They don't know what to do. Some raggedy ass Knight of Wands, whoever this is. Somebody took a leap of faith. Why is the Knight of Wands there? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, clarify this person. Somebody wants to reconcile with you. Yeah, they did magic. They're still like, oh, child, it's, it's damn near disgusting at this point. You know why? Because we're just watching somebody destroy themselves. I mean, even if this is somebody that you don't care about anymore or you don't give a damn about what they got going on, it's really hard to still watch somebody aimlessly, mindlessly, okay, irrationally take themselves out it still is to a cup somebody's mad about a partnership somebody could have sent somebody in there's a fake friend here the practitioner you know it's connected to this knight of wands oh they're doing stupid stuff clarify rectify solidify spirit says they know that you know the truth so why are y'all doing it they know that you know the truth somebody hates your gifts okay Every death spell I just heard is putting you at a new level of ascension because you keep transmuting it, overcoming it, transmuting. Because this is sickness. Where's the four swords? Oh, it's not here. I didn't pull it. But the four swords uh, that I saw at the bottom of the deck with the moon, somebody, yeah, doing sickness and death and poverty. Every evil, wicked thing that they could think of in their wicked little, you know, weeble ass, you know, oh, what a horrible web they're weaving, weaving and weaving in their mind's eye type of a mind is what they're doing. Somebody's stupid. Okay, well, let them. Shout out to my grandmother, wherever she is in the heavens. That was her favorite saying. She used to say, let them. She's a very powerful practitioner. Woo, one of the most powerful practitioners I ever met. Ooh, we. Shout out to her. She's always rock and rolling with me. But these people are under judgment. Okay, are we surprised, collective? Like, uh, really, are we surprised? Let's just really... You know, give it, give it, give it a moment. Let's take it in. Hmm. No, we're not surprised. This is, we keep telling these people what's going to happen. Show me the divine being. You call judgment down on this situation. So somebody's mad. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. King of Cups. Yeah, look. Scorpio Pisces Cancer. You're, you're caring. You're loving. You're kind. You know, somebody has the power to call death and judgment. <laughs> <laughs> what stupid ass group of people thought to do magic over a divine being who has the power to call judgment and death somebody's got the power by way of the ace of swords this is given to somebody by way of the divine the ace of swords is the ability to see the truth and rule with an iron fist fair somebody's fair in calling judgment. They're not abusing their power with that ace of swords. It's not like, oh, I got the power to call judgment. I call judgment. No, this is fair. You're like, okay, I'm going to have to pull this ace of swords. Like, I was hoping that they would just get it together. But I called down a harsh ass judgment. Yeah, and you still on the phone telling this person, when is the magic going to kick in? Look, there's fighting. There's arguing. All these conflict spells, sickness spells, mental illness spells. This person, this Knight of Wands could be still trying to look like they're doing okay. They ain't doing okay. There's a Gemini fire sign and a water sign involved. 
that could have attacked a water sign or somebody with water in their chart or yeah heavy on the gemini heavy on the pisces heavy on the fire sign energy somebody could have been doing like some type of lustful spell or something like that yeah listen it's over listen this fell right on top of the magician and the two of wands somebody could have traveled to a distance out of the country somebody's willing to do anything they possibly can to stop you they're like where i gotta go what i gotta do what i gotta pay just to stop you somebody's yeah somebody's crazy this fell right on top of the magician and this doggone knight of wands did i not just tell you where i gotta go eight of wands swift moving action that looked like ast astral projection excuse me or jumping on a plane a train an automobile you know on the back of an eagle whatever the hell they got to do baby they are willing to do it somebody has a lot of hate in their heart for you show me this person oh there they are this fell right on top of the knight of wands and the magician this person's way down, losing it, not knowing what to do, just, just losing it, just stupid as shit. And still they're going. And now they're, they're putting in a call to the practitioner. Clarify, show me this practitioner. Mm -hmm. This person is having to pay for something. Karma. Karma, seven of pentacles is past investments. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody's made a lot of money off of doing some type of spiritual work. Absolutely a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Mm -hmm. With the Seven of Pentacles, it's an Earth sign. So whoever this person is, they did some type of Earth magic. Okay, somebody is nervous. Somebody's scared. Somebody's like, what do I have to do? Where do I have to go? Somebody's like, give it time. It's going to kick in. They just leading this person to the slaughter. Show me this Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, the, this person's just watching. Look, this fell right on top of judgment, the world the magician, and something at a distance. <laughs> there are no mistakes. There absolutely are no coincidences. Not when it comes to me channeling energy. I thank the most high for it. I thank the most high for just being so, so, so beautiful by way of giving me this gift because truth and clarity, it's like, you can't make this shit up. Page of Swords, whoever this uh, practitioner is, she's watching you, okay? I just heard emotional manipulator. Somebody's an emotional manipulator. She likes to play mind games. She's angry because this magic is not working. She could be lying to this person. Mm -hmm. She wants more money. She could be telling them to give her more money. They could be arguing back and forth. I feel like the whole group has been dismantled. Strength. Heavy on the Capricorn energy. Could be a Taurus or a Virgo. Somebody's got Capricorn highly aspected in their chart. Clarify this practitioner that's spying and watching. Where are they at? Oh, fire sign, energy, strength, Leo. Somebody's birthday is in August. Virgo, Leo, Leo, Virgo. Mm-hmm. This fell right on top of the Ten of Wands and the Nine of Wands. They don't give a damn about this person. They're watching you though. What are they, where are they watching at? <laughs> I ain't never seen nobody watch. Like I don't have nobody y'all that I just watch. You know how much time and energy that is? You look up and the whole year is gone and you're like, damn. Yeah, you've been watching somebody else live their life. Strength. Wow. Where are they watching? Online? Look at me. Yeah, look. The star is at the bottom of the deck. They're watching online. Where are they? Where is she? Hey. <laughs> look at me. Hey, girl. Hey. <laughs> Make no assumptions that she could be watching my platform or maybe somebody else's. Yeah, look. This is her. I cannot make it up. Star in the Hierophant. Practitioner. Taurus Energy. Somebody's got Taurus. Somebody, somebody, it could be a couple of witches involved here. What is going on here? Somebody said, when you think that black magic gonna kick in? <laughs> when you think that black magic gonna kick in? Uh-uh. It's a hell to the no. This is like, look, when you see the seven of wands and the ace of cups in the reverse, this is like the divine turning a deaf ear. 
This is like fall from grace and mercy, like judgment. The final call has already been made. So somebody is simply spinning their wheels. Somebody's like running in place, going nowhere fast. And no, you know what I'm saying? Like they're going nowhere fast and and and, and no time soon. Like, <laughs> illusions, a lot of projection, a lot of evil eye, a lot of wishing, waiting, wanting to hex, but terrified because the creator is here. This is you, okay? Seven of wands, you're protected. Got the helping hand of the creator and somebody's like this. Somebody wanted to take that divine light from you your divine gifts your contract somebody wanted to alter it rewrite it revise it no boo that's spiritual plagiarism that is like what is that okay this is what happens when you find people that ain't got no damn life no spiritual contract it's like that's what you came into the world to do it's people dying all over the world and this is what you focused on divine beings who have a purpose and a calling child you are a shepherd for the devil can you imagine when somebody's born and they look at the child and they're like oh this one's going to be a shepherd for the devil well listen this is the type of energy you give in your whole life is in chaos this is what you do in life this is what you do for money at the end of the day you end up like this banging your head on the wall my friend try to drink yourself to sleep listen somebody stay in the bed somebody's in the bed trying to transmute some energy and ain't got no power okay well maybe they were waiting for the power to kick in somebody like when you think that power gonna kick in <laughs> when you think that transfer of destiny gonna kick in it's been about seven weeks and we coming up on a new you know mortgage payment rent payment the bills are due somebody needs your fortune to survive why is the seven of wands and the ace of cups in the reverse? And this is what somebody wanted for you, Spirit is saying. And it's a hell to the no. <laughs> Clarify, rectify, solidify this energy. Please and thank you, angels. I can't make it up. Look what fell right on top of the nine of swords. Justice. Karma. Karma. Somebody's getting their ass beat by the universe. It's almost like the house is burning down. And somebody's still acting like nothing's wrong. Like somebody's fixing their hair and it's like, oh, excuse me, psst, psst, excuse me, your house is on fire. They're like, oh no, everything's fine. This is what they're telling this person. And somebody's falling for the bullshit. Okay, all right, yeah, it's gonna kick in. It's gonna kick in. I'm gonna get some money. You know, they might get a little bit of money here and there, but it's all an illusion. Look, they're under an illusion. They don't have your energy. Heavy on the Piscean energy, okay? Could be a Pisces involved. Somebody's working in a group of three. Could be three witches, mm-hmm. Could be five witches, I just heard. Witches that are getting stitches because somebody's a snitch. Somebody's snitching to the universe, afraid to get them stitches. Yeah, five of cups. It's at least five. Look at that. Okay, but you notice the way there's five cups. There's two still standing. So two people are still working. It's going to be the earth sign and this Pisces. Mm -hmm. There's a Pisces and an earth sign that are still going at it. They could be, like I said, they need money because they're about to be in poverty. So somebody's just taking money knowing that it's not going to work. Show me this practitioner, please and thank you. Justice is here. Libra and energy. Holy Spirit. Show us what we need to see. I'll change on Michael. What's going on here? Who's this practitioner? What they got going on? Yeah, it's... Mm -mm. Baby, this fell right on top of strength. Somebody has lost all power. Somebody had a little bit of power and thought they had authority. See, this is the thing. Authority and power are two different things. But you, Divine Collective, with this Ace of Swords, you got authority and power divinely. You're gifted. You're clairvoyant. You see. You transmute the shit before it happens. Whatever they tried to do, you saw it weeks before it happened. You're like, okay. Well, this is another opportunity for me to get more power because somebody's channeling a lot of energy towards you. What else did they think was going to happen? Did they think that it was going to lock up your kidneys and your bowels? Did they think it was going to make you sick? You transmuted the shit out of it. Now somebody needs their strength. Okay, listen. Six of wands in the reverse all day, every day represents, you know, access denied. Somebody's very prideful. This person feels jilted. They feel they got something to prove. Uh, they feel, you know, 
I know my work works and what's so special about you. That's like talking to the creator of all things, the most high saying, uh, what's so special about you? And the most high is like, what? I could totally just kill you and make another one just like you. Or maybe I won't. <laughs> maybe you're the brown germ. And maybe I'll just pluck you out, you little rotten ass apple. Like, what are you talking about? People out here trying to, yeah, look, this is this act the second time, Page of Swords. Somebody's watching. Hey, hi, hello. Somebody's watching. Hola, como estas? Watching, say something. Hey, hi, you okay? Hey, snap out of it. <laughs> Somebody's trying to figure out why you're still alive. When is it going to kick in? This is why I just split the deck, seven of wands, because your ancestors is out here whooping a that's a assa. Somebody ain't got an ass left to whoop. Somebody ain't got an ass to sit in on, okay? Getting kicked up the ass, on the ass, around the ass. No ass at all to sit down on. I'm telling you, karma is whooping somebody's ass, dragging them. Listen, this fell right on top of justice, the queen of cups. Somebody could be a water sign. You could be a psychic. Somebody's watching you. If they're watching you, you could have a platform. You could be in the public eye. I mean, I feel like they're watching all the high priestess. This could be anybody's story. Maybe it's all of our stories. I don't know. But we're very, very preoccupied with getting to the fortune, getting to said will, spinning the will, and winning every single time with good news about money. The Ten of Cups and somebody's getting a new house. We get new houses, new families. Ten of Cups is soul tribe. Yeah, that's soul tribe. And somebody out here talking about, I done lied, lied, lied. Yeah, you lied. You little biatches. You lied to the universe. <laughs> so disgusted with these people. Can you hear it in my voice? The Queen of Cups and Justice, okay? Somebody could be a Scorpio. Somebody could be a Scorpio or a Libra with water in their chart. Or you just got a whole bunch of Queen of Cups energy. You could be a fire sign. You could be an earth sign. You could be anything, but you're embodying a psychic energy. Somebody psychic as heck. Somebody's biting their nails and chewing a hole through the left side of their jaw over you. Nervous. You need to get your nerves checked out because I'm going to tell you something. Psst. I don't know if you realize, but the last time we checked, it wasn't no smut on our rep. <laughs> this is what happens when you live properly, decent and in order. You're not wishing nobody harm. You're not doing nothing wrong to nobody. And the universe steps up. You got walking, breathing security by way of the universe and the ethereal realm. And somebody is ethereally getting their ass whooped. As above, so below. Half their ass is in the above, and most of it is in the below. Somebody's half of their ass is in the earth, honey. Grounded. And the other half is attached to those wishes that you put in the spirit realm. When the prayers go up, the blessings come down. See, we're manifesting. When your curses went up, your curses came back down. You are reaping what you sown, seven of pentacles, whoever this earth sign energy is, she got something to prove. He got something to prove. It's a he, a she, a it, a dog, a witch, a demon, whatever they got going on, baby, it's defeated. Somebody has been dismantled. Somebody is without power. Seven of wands, they own ancestors won't even answer them. Okay, ace of cups, you liable to go into a graveyard to talk to your ancestors and you might get attacked. Y'all are wicked. You've broken too many spiritual laws. Listen, Queen of Cups to the Justice. Somebody's got Libra. Somebody's walking, breathing karma. I don't know who thought to do this. Somebody got the power to call death and judgment. And by way of the truth. And the Most High is like, okay, I'm going to back you. That's why I gave you that Ace of Swords because I knew that you would do the right thing. Again, when we're in the spirit realm, before we come into the physical body, before you choose your mother and your father, before you say, hey, that mother right there, that's the portal from which I will come. I'm going to choose her and I'm going to choose that guy. Why? Because it's all a part of your spiritual contract. And somebody's, well, my mama's karmic. Well, listen, it was a part of the contract. Don't overthink it. Yeah, she was karmic. You probably was born to your enemy, but you're an ascended master. You got everything on the inside of you. You even transmuted the shit out of that as you're being molded and shaped in triple darkness in her womb. So any enemy outside of that, it's easy to slay. The most I was like, okay, I'm going to let you be born to your enemy. 
Okay, she's going to try to kill you now. Your mama did black magic over you. Why? Because your destiny is so great. Looking at the larger scheme of things, walking with your ace of swords, being obedient to source of all things. Now, if you can conquer and or overcome the first teacher and or enemy to have ever uh, been in your life, the first face you ever saw, quite possibly then any enemy outside of that is easy by way of a spiritual slay. You're slaying the shit out of these people and they're looking crazy. Somebody got their wig turned on backwards. Somebody is like too busy watching you that their lace front is not lacing, okay? Their locks are not locking. Somebody's like, damn, my head just keep itching. No, that's your nervous system. That's what it feels like by way of torment when the universe is whooping said ass. Your ass is even on backwards. Somebody's ass is on their stomach and their stomach is on their ass. Listen, I tell you the truth. I tell you no lies. Listen, call judgment. Somebody wants to come in with a pissy ass apology. Whoever this is, I'm getting Piscean energy though. Clarify this page of cups. Who are they apologizing to? The universe? Because the most high is, the line is disconnected. They can't even get through. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody's trying to call the divine like, hey, divine, I'm sorry. The, the, uh -uh. the number that you're trying to reach has been disconnected. It's no longer in service. If you feel you have reached this number in error, please hang up and try again. Somebody been calling all day. <laughs> you should have called on the most high to do a background check on this earth angel you tried to attack. You dump it to the dumb, the dumb, dumb, the dumb, the dumb, dumb. Oh, yes, a lot of text messages, a lot of screenshots. This is a Pisces. And they're stuck. They're bound to karma. They're stuck. They could be having mental psychosis. Listen, there's a lot of suicide energy floating around. There's a lot of sickness and death floating around. Everybody thought it was a joke until the shit ain't funny no more. And now nobody's laughing. All they're doing is watching. Okay? Hangman, page of cups. Somebody's stuck indecisive, hopeless, not knowing what to do, holding back, should they, they don't know what to do. Somebody's running in circles and somebody's sick, okay? Somebody sacrificed themselves. It's too late to see it from a new perspective, source is saying. Yeah, it's too late to release something. Somebody went too far. Somebody put up a really bad wish because of this Knight of Wands or whatever the shit this is. Somebody paid them a whole bunch of money. Mm-hmm. Somebody's completely and totally detached from reality because they're sick. Four swords, death and sickness, mental illness, sickness. Somebody's possibly trying to decide if they want to take themselves out. Five of swords. There's a lot of conflict, a lot of fighting. Somebody's very, very irritated because they can't change it. They can't change. I just heard, if I could turn, turn back the hands of time. Yeah, you would probably do the same damn thing because this was divinely orchestrated. How many lifetimes you even came into the world and just said, oh, well, I'm just going to wreak havoc. Get your punk ass down. This sad ass story. Somebody's having deja vu of all the lifetimes. They just keep being nothing. Just this what you in the earth to do. And here you are, divine uh, collective out here validating your existence. Because you're like, oh, there's only one life to live. I'm just passing through. I'm going to have a good time. Yeah, you damn right. Okay, well, listen. It's been a lot of commercial breaks. Yeah, page of wands. Somebody keeps coming up. Listen, clarify. Page of wands in the reverse. Bad news about death, sickness, way down, mental illness, no spiritual protection. Can't get in contact with the ancestors. Somebody's telling somebody everything is fine and it's not. Whoever this knight of wands is, they're way down because the Pisces and the earth sign is saying the shit gonna work and it's not working. Now everybody's arguing and it's been dismantled. Somebody got paid a whole bunch of money. Now the money is gone and spent because they were banking on the fact that they could harvest your energy, take you out, take your soul, take your will of fortune. You're not getting bad luck. Everything's going good. Money keeps coming in easily and effortlessly. And somebody's ass is stuck in the hangman. Well, page of wands. 
They're getting news. That you're too protected. Seven of Wands. The star. This is destiny. This is your birthright. This is your journey. This is your path. Your mind and your business. Focused on source. It is written in the stars. It's been prophesied lifetimes ago. And this is why you're here. Your ancestors are not playing. They are dragging, whooping, choking, stomping out your enemy. Literally, right now, in real time, as we speak, the star. You could be in the public eye, okay? Somebody's like, well, where's my money? I need it now. <laughs> You're coming up as the king of cups, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. You could be a masculine, and you call judgment down on the bullshit because you got ranking. You're still the king of pentacles, heavy on the divine masculine energy and feminine. I just realized the king of cups to the queen of cups. Well, that's a whole nother level. This could be a partnership or somebody that's coming into your life. Somebody wanted you. Yeah, the two of cups. Didn't we, didn't we pull the two of cups at the bottom of the deck? I got to be kind and rewind. Yeah, listen. Rewind the tape, baby. Listen, the devil. They're bound to it. Whoever this person is, masculine, you ain't no joke. King of swords on that ass. You exposed it. You called judgment down. And now these people are going to spiritual jail. They're already in spiritual hell. Okay, they're bound to whatever they've done. Yeah, they're hiding out, y'all. Somebody's just standing in the house. They could have did isolation, all the same bullshit. We don't need to relive it. Anything else we need to see? Yeah, whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, they're seeing you as the Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> Somebody got paid a whole bunch of money. This person could possibly want to apologize as well. Clarify that Queen of Pentacles. I feel like that's you. Yeah. You're coming up as the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. Okay. Somebody very attractive. Somebody's got their money together. Clarify that Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're coming up as the real Queen of Pentacles, the real Queen of Wands, but there is absolutely a Queen of Pentacles and a Queen of Wands. Fire sign energy. Okay. I just heard Aries. Somebody's, okay, yeah, because it's Pisces here. So this is like somebody, it could be a Pisces, but they're coming up as a queen of wands. These two work together, okay? They want to apologize, okay? They feel like they betrayed you by way of you being a, a divine feminine, divine masculine, okay? But I don't feel like these are people that you know directly. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You balance this shit out. Look, it's a wrap. Two of Pentacles. They could be trying to undo their magic. Somebody's trying to undo something. Two of Pentacles. Somebody's trying to balance it out and undo it, but they're afraid because they took somebody's money. So it's either give the money back or kill this person, make them sick, make them poor, make them whatever. Ace of Pentacles. Somebody wanted you to spend a lot of money, be in your head, worry. Somebody wanted just nothing but pure chaos for you. Now they're just watching. So they could be astral projecting over you, divine feminine, divine masculine, just watching. I just heard you're totally aware of it. I just heard you're giving them something to watch. Well, hell, they ain't got nothing else to do. They, I mean, they got paid. <laughs> so they might as well do something. Because killing you and making you sick is, is absolutely not an option, says the Most High God. Okay? Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, look. Your abundance, a gift, underhandedly receiving some things that don't belong to them or trying to. Yeah, eight of cups. These people got to jump ship. Somebody's abandoning the ship. Yeah, look, nine of swords. This, some shit is going down. Listen, this, some shit is going down. People are trying to act like everything's fine. Like, oh, it's fine. Oh, hey, soul chime. And they just cry, cry, cry. Because they lie, lie, lied to the universe. And the universe universally is rejecting that ass. Literally, figuratively, excuse me, and on purpose right now in real time. Queen of Swords. Yeah, you too smart. Somebody was celebrating your downfall. Girl, uh-uh. Constantly throwing you some negative energy. I just see a divine being like catching it, like, ooh, ooh. You just catching it.
Somebody's like throwing their hand, throwing negative, like die, bitch. No, get sick. And you like, ooh, ooh. And you're like, ooh, a call. <clears throat> you transmute. Thank you. And you just <laughs> You're just transmuting the energy. <laughs> Order in the court. Order in the damn court. Listen. Stop laughing in court, okay? Because somebody dying, honey, from some shit they did. But you're the one to blame. I'm getting the evil eye with the page of swords. Somebody could have been attacking your throat chakra. They don't want you to tell the truth. Did I not just tell you that the people sick and dying, child? Listen, four swords laid out, laid out, sprawled out for everybody to see. People in the town are stepping over what appears to be dead bodies and these people still alive. Somebody kicking the body like, oh, they still alive? Are they breathing? Yeah, but they're an example. This is why the Most High got them in the courtyard for everybody to see that when you touch a divine being, one that I have sent on a journey to tell the truth, a teacher, somebody inspirational with that Ace of Swords, King of Cups, Queen of Cups, this divine masculine, divine feminine energy, you could be in a relationship with this person or you're going to be or something. Somebody's got love for people. By way of righteous justice and judgment, Ten of Cups. Now somebody's sick. Laid out, honey. How you going to look? Four swords to the nine of swords. Somebody feels outside of their body with the eight of cups. They feel abandoned by their spirit. Yeah, because you... Uh, you should have did a background check on who you was taking the money for. So what happens when these dark ass practitioners believe that they are the cat's meow and the dog's mother freaking bow wow and that they're above all the gods and above the most high. And now you think it not robbery to be equal with the creator of all things. Somebody's faking their divinity. I see you with your fake ass. Somebody's fake and phony. You know, maybe they didn't get the memo that shape shifting to this capacity is now spiritually illegal. The divine collective, by way of rank, we created a new law. You can no longer shape shift from dark to light. No, you either coming into the light or you coming into the dark. Anything else is unstable. You know why? Because we all have a dark side that we could go to for emergency reasons, right? By way of emergency maneuvering. But somebody impulsively abused their power and shifted into darkness. Now they slipping into darkness, but they ass has, you know... Fallen and they can't get up. It's a true story here. Okay. Yeah. Unstable mind. You slipped into darkness against somebody that was innocent. How is it that you believe that the universe is going to back you in that endeavor when you did this to earth angels? With the Ten of Cups, they did it to several people. They got a lot of karma to pay. This is not just your story, whoever you are specifically. This is a whole bunch of people. Being hung out to dry, I just heard. All cried out, all dried out. The most I was like, I don't want to hear your fake ass cries. Yeah. Seek not my face. You didn't seek me. You didn't do your research. You took money out of greed and jealousy. You told somebody you would get it done and now you didn't get it done. So you don't know what the hell to do. You're stuck, lost and bewildered. Somebody could have traveled to where you are, divine one. Okay. To get this work done. Somebody was paid. Somebody was paid a nice, I just heard 15,000. Okay. Well, that's a nice little amount of money. Okay. But it's spent. It's blood on that money. I just heard for every drop of blood they wanted you to shed, every tear they wanted you to cry, they're going to pay by way of tears and blood in a way that they can't even imagine. Somebody's afraid to leave their house. They know the Most High is going to snatch that ass. Here's the thing, though, newsflash. When the Grim Reaper's on your ass, even if you're in hermit mode, if the Most High says, go into that house and snatch this person up, you're going to get snatched. So I don't know how you think you're hiding from the creator of all things.
The Ace of Wands is here. This is divine intervention. This is war. The wand is for war. This wand is also for whooping said ass. Somebody's getting their ass whooped by the Ace of Wands, the creator of all things, mentally in a spiritual battle. Somebody said, I will do anything to stop this person. The most I said, oh yeah, Ace of Cups. Okay. Okay, High Priestess. Look at you, chosen. Somebody hates the fact that you're chosen. They don't like the fact that you listen to your intuition. They don't like the fact that you know the divine truth and that you emotionally are stable. Queen of Cups to the King of Cups, High Priestess. Listen, Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords. Who the hell set this old bullshit up? Somebody is dumb. This is some demonic ass shenanigans. Like who thought to do this? Why would you not check this person's spiritual resume? And why wouldn't you check the spiritual resume of the wicked ass person that tried to come along and pay you or paid you? My left eye is twitching. Somebody is hexing, cursing, evil eye. Yeah, my left eye is twitching. Somebody is evil eye. I'm like, mm, yeah, bitch, yeah, nah, nah, nah. why they spy it? Okay, that's fine. You want to come to the platform. You want to go to all the platforms. You want to watch on Facebook. You want to watch on Instagram. Wherever you're seeing the divine being, go ahead. Okay, but watch that eye. You're going to shoot your eye out. If you haven't already, somebody could have issues with their vision. Ciao. This is the message though. I really enjoyed giving y'all this download. I'm really glad that this helped somebody. But uh, I just heard muster up the strength. <laughs> somebody got that phone call they're like uh when is the curse gonna start cursing uh when, when, when is the what is the wheel of fortune gonna turn in my favor how are you calling somebody else to ask them when is the wheel of fortune going to turn in your favor after you paid them that is your god you are in danger you trusting in somebody else a practitioner more than you trust in the divine you trusting in the gin and the and the the, uh, the gins and the gin and the cup. Somebody drinking and sinking. Okay. <laughs> you trust in the goose, as in gray goose, more than you trust in the divine. You trusting in them spirits in the bottle. Ooh. Danger. Somebody's just watching, monitoring spirits. The monitoring spirits are irritated. They're tired. They've been up all night. <laughs> They're like, what is she doing? They're like, oh, well, she was sleeping at three and then she got up and made herself a smoothie. Like, this is what the monitoring spirits are reporting back. Is she sick? Is she dead? Is he is he sick? Is he dead? They're like, well, no, not exactly. I mean, I heard her cough like three times, but that's because she, you know, she put too much pepper on her mashed potatoes. <laughs> I heard her cough and sneeze, but uh, it seems to be in perfect health to me. Listen, you little wicked ass witches getting stitches, you little bitches. Listen, <laughs> the most high is out here snatching y'all by the britches. You know, I am the tarot card rapper. So why are we acting surprised that I got bars? Whoever's acting surprised there's a 100% chance. I see you, you little cross-watching karmic. What are you doing, cross-watching karmic? You better go get that spiritual work. You see the synchronicities. Cross-watching, cross-eyed, legs tied, died and fried and laid to the side. Stuck in the cross-walks of two parallel lines called bad karma. Also known as bad juju. Listen, I love y'all. <laughs> twin. You in the mirror talking about twin. Where have you been? And you loving on self. Looking into your own eyes like I love you. You're my number one lady. I love you so much. Listen, I'm so proud of you. You know, you're really, you're really coming a long way. Look how good you look. You're just having mirror talk and loving on yourself. And the, the monitoring spirits are confused. They're like, well, uh, uh, yeah, go report that. Go run, tell that. I love y'all. Listen, 
If this resonated with you, it really does make me happy. If you want to donate, that's fine. It's not required. It's, I mean, this is a free reading. It's a gift. It really is for me to you from the universe. Okay. But if you want to donate, I'm going to receive it. <laughs> if you want to send a dollar and be like, thank you. <laughs> and if you send me some love and light, baby, I'm going to take it, turn it. And I'm going to send you back even more love and light. You can send me back some love and light. And we can just equally give and receive by way of love and light because that is what we're here to do. I love y'all. I do. I really do. I always come in peace, love and light. You know that. I'll see you in the next video. Peace be with you.